Actually, Lebanon is a small country, but a low burden country, low TB burden country. But the country uh, was hit by many emergencies. First, the war in the neighboring country, Syria, where over uh, around uh, 2 million population uh, refugees left uh, Syria to Lebanon, enter Lebanon. The second one is the COVID pandemic who hit all the world, including Lebanon. The third one is the Beirut port blast. As you all know, uh, we call this blast Beirut Shima as Hiroshima because it uh, destroyed half of the country, including the national TV program premises. The, the last emergency and uh, that will impact TV for a long time is the economic collapse of the country with its, its uh, consequences, poverty, malnutrition, uh, poor access to healthcare. And uh, as you may know, uh, poverty and malnutrition and the main social determinant of TB, that all presumptive MDR TB cases can be diagnosed in one day and provided with uh, the oral short regimen, even with an individualized regimen on the same day to all eligible for this treatment. Actually, we use this uh, molecular testing for TB and it is the first test for us but mainly used in pulmonary TB because of the you know, simplicity to get a sample from the patient. When we have reached more than 90% of our pulmonary TB cases are tested by this test. The social determinants, the poverty, the malnutrition, they are the real driver of the tuberculosis. And this is my, my uh, asks for them, like Stop TB, they have their ask. I have this ask for the leaders to help us to end this terrible disease before it becomes a pandemic. Uh, we are working in, you know, in our region now, in a region uh, with ongoing conflicts everywhere. So we are facing security issues, uh, new and movement of refugees. And you, I would ask, you know, to stop these wars, <laughs> you know? We are working in very challenging environment and we cannot work forever in this situation. Hello friends, welcome to another episode of NTB Dialogues. Oh, as we know that uh, uh, we are almost at the midpoint. Actually, we just passed the midpoint since the government's committed to NTB in 2015 by adopting the SDGs. So NTB by 2030. So we have passed 90 months. 90 months are left. And governments and uh, others will also meet in uh, uh, New York at the UN high-level meeting to review the progress. So we have amongst us one of the fierce advocates for NTB from Lebanon. Uh, so uh, welcome, Dr. Hiam Yaqub. She is the National TB Program Manager uh, for Lebanon. A very, uh, you know, very familiar to all those who have been following to global TB control. Welcome, doctor. How are you? Uh, thank you, Bobby. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me to this uh, interview and to give me this opportunity to raise the voice of Lebanon and the voice of TB community. Thank you. Welcome, uh, Dr. Yakub. It is always uh, such a, uh, insightful for all of us to hear uh, issues which are uh, very unique to the uh, to the context of Lebanon. And uh, so, uh, so without any further ado, and especially for those who are who may have joined us new, uh, Dr. Yakub uh, is a very senior specialist in respiratory medicine and TB at the Ministry of Public Health of Lebanon uh, since 1994 onwards. Uh, she's a WHO uh, TB and drug resistant TB expert, as well as a noted part of Lebanese Pulmonary Society and Lebanese Order of Physicians since 1993. So again, a great honor to have you amongst us again, Dr. Yakub. Welcome again. Thank you. So, so Dr. Yakub, please uh, uh, tell us where are we? Since uh, I think the last time when we spoke, it was in 2019. So it will be great to know. A uh, lot has happened uh, during that time. So where are we in the fight against TB in Lebanon today? Oh. Thank you. Actually, Lebanon is a small country, 
uh, consists of 500.5 population, uh, but a low burden country, low TB burden country. But the country uh, was hit by many emergencies. First, the war in the neighboring country, Syria, where over uh, around uh, 2 million population uh, refugees left uh, Syria to Lebanon, inter Lebanon. The second one is the COVID pandemic who hit all the world, including Lebanon. The third one is the Beirut port blast. As you all know, uh, we call this blast Beirut Shima as Hiroshima because it uh, destroyed half of the country, including the national TV program premises. The, the last emergency and uh, that will impact TV for a long time is the economic collapse of the country with its, its uh, consequences, poverty, malnutrition, uh, poor access to healthcare. And uh, as you may know, uh, poverty and malnutrition and the main social determinant of TB. Yes, uh, thanks a lot for giving that context, uh, Dr. Yakub. It is very, very important to understand that, uh, that TB is a, is a social uh, issue, but it's also a political issue. And so many uh, issues, uh, you know, impact the response to TB. It's not in isolation. It's very, very humbling to listen to you, uh, the kind of ground realities uh, which you just shared. So uh, can you just give us an idea of uh, like how are people getting uh, diagnosed, uh, which tests are being used, like molecular tests are there or not, uh, which regimens and- uh, Actually, uh, despite all of this, and with, a, with the support of our partners and mainly WHO and International Organization for Migration with the generous grants, from the Global Fund to Fight TB, AIDS, and Malaria, we have succeeded to elaborate strategic plans to end TB. Um, with time, and meanwhile, we are providing all TB services to all residents of Lebanon, free of charge, uh, without any discrimination, through nine TB centers uh, that serve as a primary healthcare specialized for TB, these centers are distributed equally to all regions of the country, and they are equipped with digital X-rays and with uh, PCR for TB named uh, Gene Expert. Actually, we have four uh, uh, X-rays, and two of them are equipped with, with AI, CAT for TB, with an artificial intelligence to help better diagnose TB. And with four gene expert uh, for reef resistance, MTB reef ultra, distributed to four uh, regions uh, that cover all the country. And we have uh, more than that, we have one gene expert called Tan Color of XD or XDR gene expert when we can diagnose in one day that all presumptive MDR TB cases can be diagnosed in one day and provided with uh, the oral short regimen, even with an individualized regimen on the same day to all eligible for this treatment. Um, in addition to that, we have recently elaborated a national strategic plan to eliminate TB in Lebanon. And our main focuses were on TB in children, multidrug resistant TB, and TB infection, which is the driver of the disease. Yes, Dr. Yakub, thanks a lot. Uh, so, uh, Dr. Yakub, uh, in India, we, uh, as per in last year, 2022, we diagnosed 23% uh, of presumptive uh, TB with molecular tests. 77 got uh, the sputum microscopy. Uh, so it's it's uh, it's increasing in different states. In some states have 100% use of molecular tests. Some states have uh, uh, lower, uh, but it's on a rise. So uh, uh, I just wanted to, and most of the molecular tests in India are done by uh, TrueNet. Uh, so this is a point of care, decentralized battery op. So I was just, just wondering if this is of context and also is our, our women, and girls more affected? Uh... 
Actually, we use this uh, molecular testing for TB, and it is the first test for us, but mainly used in pulmonary TB because of the you know, simplicity to get a sample from the patient. When we have reached more than 90% of our pulmonary TB cases are tested by this test, and they are distributed to uh, Actually, Lebanon is a small country. We have four regions and we have one gene expert per region. When, and we have settled with the support of our partners, a transportation system. So we have twice a week, driver will, uh, vehicle will go and collect uh, samples and uh, to the referral lab, to the central uh, unit of the TB program, to the nearest center where expert uh, is available. Um, for, uh, I told you that no discrimination, but women, children are all served in the centers. But yes, we have more percentage of cases in women, not in Lebanese and refugees because uh, they are here. Refugees are, you know, at the end, they are um, familiar with the language is one that, you know, everything is similar between two, these two countries. So we don't have this uh, limitation, but the highest number of uh, women are in migrant population from high burden countries because they are women, they are uh, home workers, you know, they are working in homes, you know, they in homes, or they are, they are women. Here we have highest higher percentage of women over men, only in migrant population. But they are served and provided with all the needed uh, services to get out of TB, free of TB. And this, sure, with the support of the, uh, our partners. Thank you. With this kind of support, of course, like people will the uh, more likely to finish the uh, the treatment and get cured, and this is so that is uh, again underlines the importance of of support and care uh, during the therapy. And uh, uh, it's interesting to know that more women get uh, you know uh, impacted by TB uh, uh, in many set, uh, other settings. It's it's the the, the more men probably. Uh, get mm -hmm. TB, but yeah. it is maybe the bacteria does not distinguish, but whatever. Right. In India, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Yakub, there is a very interesting data which I was seeing. You know, there is a uh, of the national government uh, data. It's uh, on. It's also segregated by gender, and you will find more completion rates, more successful completion rates, more adherence by women than men. Uh, even if uh, there is there are less women who get diagnosed, but still, if they get diagnosed, they are more likely to finish the treatment. So more responsive. Yes, I think, yes. Uh, don't be upset of me, but I, uh, when I work even in the health sector, women are more organized. <laughs> Sorry for that. Yes. No, no, sorry. You should be proud of that. And we are too. <laughs> so thank you for your leadership. So Dr. Yaku, what about the treatment regimens? Are the latest regimens being used? Uh, actually, can you please enlighten us? And also on the date in TV. Actually, we have just finished our national guideline, updated guideline for drug sensitive TB and for latent TB. And we have included the new protocols with rifampentine, four months, short regimen, as well as for latent TB, the one month or the three HP or one HP, maybe you are aware about, uh, and we have included, but we, now we have uh, issued the guideline. Now, now we will wait for, as you know, procurement of the medication. And I believe we will start from the next year to uh, provide this treatment. Yes, yes, this is good. Uh, in India also, these are announced, but not yet rolled out. So probably at some point in future, let's hope that uh, new regimens for latent TB, the four months for drug sensitive and six months for drug resistant TB, the BPAL and BPALM uh, yes. become a reality for people who need it. Uh, so uh, any, anything else which you would like to say in terms of the next 90 months? So Dr. Yakub, you have spent uh, so many years fighting TB in the past. Uh, so uh, what about the next 90 months to 2030? So uh, what what can be do what can be done more? What can be done differently 
so that we are really able to NTV. Uh, actually, I would say, and I would ask the leaders who will meet the next month in at the UN high level meeting and the special one for TB to put TB on the top of the, the, their agenda, you know, and not only by, si by signing declarations and commitments to support us by developing uh, ambitious uh, strategic plans, but by securing funding for us to implement these plans and to reach our goals and vision uh, of the world free of TB. I would ask them to make all the newest TB diagnostics, uh, medications, preventive tools to be accessible to all in all the country to, to you know, and including the ex expected vaccines. We are expecting in the very, very no near future a vaccine. I would ask them to make it available to all, all over the world. I would ask them in addition to fight and to uh, secure funding to, to fight the social determinants, as you know, the social determinants, uh, poverty, the malnutrition, they are the real driver of the tuberculosis. And this is my, my uh, ask for them, like Stop TB, they have their ask. I have this ask for the leaders to help us to end this terrible disease before it becomes a pandemic. Thank you. I can only say one word, Amin. Let's hope that this happens. Uh, will absolutely, this needs to happen. And thank you, Dr. Yakub, for mentioning that it should happen everywhere. TB anywhere is TB everywhere. That is a, not only just a slogan. That is so true. And um, so, so thanks for saying that. Before we wrap up, uh, uh, Dr. Yakub, is there anything else which you would like to share now? Actually, I, I would uh, share that we should be ambitious, but we should have the needed support. Uh, we are working and you know in our region now, in a region uh, with ongoing conflicts everywhere. So we are facing security issues, uh, new and movement of refugees. And you I would ask, you know, to stop these wars. <laughs> you know. We are working in very challenging environment and we cannot work forever in this situation. Right, totally. We are with you and I'm sure that every human being will, will echo what you have just said. Peace is so central. And friends, we should also remember what Dr. Yakub has just said, that we, the governments by adopting the sustainable development goals have also adopted, there are targets to end hunger. So she's talking about ending malnutrition. She's talking about peace. There are sustainable development goals related to peace. So we need to ensure peace, socially just and ecologically sustainable uh, progress and the response to TB needs to be rooted in that. So thanks again, Dr. Yakub. always an inspiration, personal inspiration as well to hear you and uh, our deepest regards to the years you have put in the fight against TB. And uh, um, we really hope that your efforts will bear fruit and we one day will see that this uh, pandemic, the TB pandemic behind us. So for, thanks again for joining us. Friends who have joined us Bobby, late, late I would, thank you. I would say one more thank you, Bobby, yes. for your interest, for your support for TB com uh, communities. Please keep, keep it up. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Yakub. again. Thanks a lot and bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.